Hello guys, I'm Sammy from MicroBuyDadditch, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to rebind or remap any kind of button or key connected to your computer to any other kind of button or key that is connected to your computer. So, for example, if you want to bind your left mouse button to X or your right mouse button to your Enter key or your Enter key to your Space key or whatever you want to do, uh, this will be possible using the techniques I'm going to show you today. Now, essentially, there are two major ways of doing this. Either you use a little bit, the, the, a little bit more easy method, which is to use um, software that is programmed specifically to do this. However, most of these pieces of software are actually limited in that they usually don't allow you to bind stuff to your mouse or from your mouse, which is why I'm going to show you the more advanced method first. Now, the more advanced method, and in my opinion, uh, the superior method, is to use Auto Hotkey. Auto Hotkey is basically a framework for programming, and no, you don't actually have to program anything uh, for programming macros or scripts or bots, all right? It's a very useful thing to have because if you get into it a little bit, it allows you to save a lot of time. Uh, because scripts can automatically do stuff for you and, yeah, save you time. And time is money, as we all know, so, ha, you can thank me later for making you a millionaire, I guess. So, uh, all you basically do is you download AutoHotKey, you install it on your computer, it's totally free, it's open source as far as I'm aware, and I'm not affiliated with these people at all, and I don't think they make any money off of their software. So, yeah, there you go. And it's uh, basically, this is the leading macro software for computers out there. All right, for Windows computers anyway. So, and then once you've installed this software, all you basically do is you create a new text document. All right, I'm going to call this rebind.text. Now, the programming begins. I'm actually kidding. There is not really any programming involved here. So <laughs> all you basically do is you enter the button that you want to bind something to, all right? I'm going to bind stuff to my right mouse button, which means I'm going to type R button. And if you want to see the nomenclature for all the special keys that m you may have on your computer or connected to your computer, um, you basically go to this address right here, auto hotkey uh, remap. Uh, I'm going to have the link in the description, or you can just Google auto hotkey remapping keys, and it will take you to this uh, page where all the special buttons nomenclature is listed, all right? For example, CTRL, RCTRL, R Alt, X button 2, which is your fifth mouse button, and your X button 1, which is your fourth mouse button, and so on. Uh, I'm not going to go into this too much. Basically, you can find the nomenclature on the internet. Now, let's continue with the programming. Oh, programming. So, as I've said, the button that you want to map something to, and then colon, colon, and then the button that you want to have bound to that first button or key. So that's basically that. Now you have your right mouse button bound to G. All right, R button, colon, colon, G. And that's that. If you want to bind multiple things, uh, you can also, for example, bind D to uh, V or whatever. Doesn't it really matter. And that's basically that. All you do now is you save the file. If you want to do more, you can do more. You can do unlimited rebinds, as far as I'm aware. You close the file. And here comes the, prob uh, the, the problematic part, for some people anyways, that are new to using computers. Now, you need to change the file type, or uh, the, the file ending, or the file suffix of this text file, all right? Because we want to make a auto hotkey file. Now, this is basically quite easy. All you do is you rename the file, and instead of text or txt, you write ahk. However, by default, Windows computers do not sh give you that option, okay? They will not display the file ending because Microsoft thinks, or uh, that's my opinion anyways, Microsoft, in my opinion, thinks you are an imbecile and you're only going to shoot you in the foot if they give you that option. So you have to go into your Windows folder options and enable the displaying of file suffixes or file types, all right? 
If you're not sure how to do this, just Google it. You'll have it done in two minutes, all right? So you change the file suffix to .ahk, which stands for auto hotkey, all right? Um, I think I did something wrong. Oh, T-A-H-K. That's wrong. A-H-K. See, even seasoned professionals as myself. Nah, I'm actually a noob, whatever. <laughs> um, get it wrong sometimes. Anyways, so once you have your .ahk file, you basically just double click it all right and now let's just go into a text file and demonstrate I'm actually using my mouse right now I'm, I'm holding my mouse really close to the microphone and as you can see I'm typing G G G G G G G G G G uh, I'm gonna just gonna see okay I'm not using the keyboard if I using I'm using the keyboard it sounds something like this and now I'm just using the mouse all right, just for the skeptics out there, I've proven that it actually works. All right, now, all right, now for the second option, as I've mentioned, it's sharp keys, which allows you to rebind most things on your computer, including headphone and other kinds of buttons that you might find. Um, sharp keys you can find at sharpkeys.codeplex.com or just google sharp keys you'll find it no problem it's a free software you can just download it install it it'll take about two seconds to install it's awesome so um you just start up your sharp keys and this will allow you to basically add a new rebind so you can for example um rebind all of your keys obviously that you have on your keyboard um, even special keys that I don't even know what they do, what they're doing. You can even map stuff to opening your email or your messenger, or going into Explorer and into your file system. Uh, there's an unlimited amount of, of possibilities. However, it does exclude the rebinding of mouse buttons. Also, I'm not actually using this ever. I'm just using this for demonstration purposes um, to give you an alternative to the a little bit more complex and complicated method that it is um, auto hotkey. All right. I'm not actually going to do this. All you basically do is you buy, you you take the key that you want to map something to, and you then select the key that you want to have mapped to that. Um, you click OK, or you can even use the type key option, all right? And then you basically write your keybinds into the registry, and that's that, all right? It's really pretty straightforward, and it's very self-explanatory, which is why I've actually done this second. And it's, as I've said, a little bit less complex, and it doesn't give you as much choice as auto hotkey. Anyways, thanks, you guys, for watching, and I hope... I have helped you out with your key rebinding or button rebinding problems. Thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.